So today I will show you a completely new and fantastic way of PC navigation in 3D space. It's a 3D mouse called Space Navigator. The shift from 2D to 3D applications is a major industry trend. And with this shift, there comes a new need of navigating in 3D space in complex 3D environments. Um, prominent examples are Google Earth, Adobe 3D PDF, Microsoft Virtual Earth, um, virtual worlds like uh, virtual worlds like Second World, Second Life, and many others. So, 3D connection is at the forefront of, of this uh, industry trend, and uh, our mission is we want to revolutionize, revolutionize the way users interact in, in 3D space in a very, very intuitive way. So let me put my words into action and show you Space Navigator with uh, Google Earth and uh, Adobe 3D PDF. So the setup I'm using here is actually I'm working with my two hands. So in my right hand, which I'm going to focus on right now, I have this wonderful piece of equipment, the MX Revolution. I'm going to show you and switch over to Google Earth, which I've uh, downloaded here in the free version, so for all of you to use. So the way you navigate, and I'm going to call this a 2D mouse for now to differentiate it from a 3D mouse, our 3D mouse. So when you navigate Google Earth with a 2D mouse, you have to continuously grab the surface of the Earth and uh, move it. Um, you can also use the, the rotation wheel to zoom in or out. Let's just try to find a lake in northern Italy, the Lago di Garda, which most of you probably know. So I zoom in, I pan, I have to continuously adjust I can also rotate here using this little navigation wheel Google has programmed in the, into the user interface. So that's the way I, I use uh, to work with uh, Google Earth with a 2D mouse. Now let me switch over to the 3D mouse and I'm going back to the same view. So I'm not using my right hand uh, now for now. I just use my left hand for the 3D mouse and just I'd like to draw attention to my, to my left hand. So that's the way I, I hold this, uh, this 3D mouse. It's the only thing that moves here is actually the cap. So in order to make that easier for you to see, I just use one finger. So in order to, uh, to move up and down, I just push the cap. Left or right, up and down. In order to, um, to zoom in, I actually just press on top of the cap. And the same way, I would just move it up. And if I want to rotate, I just twist the cap. So this cap, actually, this uh, three mouse offers me three levels of freedom. It's unsurpassed in navigation devices. And uh, the best thing is, uh, quite opposed to a 2D mouse, I can use all these three motions in tandem, so all together I can rotate, zoom, and pan to find my lake here and really immerse into a 3D world and enjoy the, the graphical 3D content Google Earth gives me. It's like flying around with a helicopter, and it's really enjoyable. So uh, I've presented you a little example for you, a personalized example. This red line you see here on Google Earth is actually a, a mountain bike uh, tour somebody has uh, captured with a mobile uh, um, GPS device and uh, published for Google Earth users. So I'm just, uh, I'm personally, I'm a quite passionate cyclist, so I'm always on the lookout for new cycling tours, so now I can just download these trails and explore them, test them out, and um, I'm using, I don't have to focus on navigational controls. Um, I just use this very fluid, intuitive way I can, I can only use, I, I can only do with a 3D mouse. So let's just fly on top of this hill, which is the Monte Altissimo in the Lago di Garda, the, Garda, the highest, highest point there. And what I usually would do there, if I do that tour, I would just certainly make a break and, uh, and have a look around. So I simply twist the cap. And I can promise you, um, once you use the Space Navigator to explore Google Earth, you'll, you'll spend much more time on Google Earth than ever before. So it's addictive. Um, so that's at 2,000 meters. And Google Earth actually gives you fascinating details. So it uh, actually sh shows you the exact altitude. Let's just continue our trail down, which zigzags down this ridge. And we'll just uh, tilt over and start this dramatic decline, and I hope my brakes work on my bike. So we're back at the lake. We just uh, turn around and, and look up. Actually, 360 degrees views, degree views, or, or just looking up uh, 3D structures is impossible with a 2D mouse. You cannot do that. 
you have to have a 3D mouse for that. If you try to rotate on your spot with a navigation wheel, for example, in Google Earth, it would rotate you out of your position. So you would land in a different valley, um, which is quite important since 3D structures are within Google Earth uh, and more and more like uh, 3D Berlin now, and you can actually go into buildings and look around on the spot. So with that said, um, I just invite you to test it yourself. I'm going to switch over to another little application, um, which shows you also another use of, uh, of Space Navigator. So this is, again, this is the newest uh, 7 Series BMW. You can uh, enjoy the fun and ease of use. Of ex you can explore, you can look at details, you can rotate, you can spin. This is actually also a good example to show you that uh, the 3D mouse is no, um, it doesn't replace the 2D mouse. It actually works in conjunction with it. So with my 2D mouse, I just um, I explore uh, my graphical content. I spin, I tilt, I rotate. Um, but with the 2D mouse, I still, uh, I still use, I, I interact with my user interface. For example, I give the car here a different color. I can um, change, change the wheels. I can make them turn. So you still need a point-and-click device, a 2D mouse, to interact with the, with the user interface um, here in Adobe 3D PDF. This uh, version of Adobe 3D is the Acrobat Reader version 8. It's also available on the, on the Internet and free for all of you to use. So this set, um, at just uh, 59 euro, as Cherry has indicated, uh, Space Navigator is priced very aggressively, uh, priced actually right in the same category like a a good uh, 2D mouse, and uh, we'll invite all of you, actually, to leave us your business card, and we're happy to send you your own space navigator to fly around in 3D worlds and control 3D objects. Um, and please also, you're welcome to visit uh, me and the 3D Connection team on the Logitech booth for the whole duration of the show. Thank you.